It's the end of the first quarter, 2021. So it's real estate market video report time. Hey everybody, it's Tristan Neiman with a Mindful Living Realty, a realtor right here in Rapid City, South Dakota. Now you've heard over and over again from even me, people saying, well, oh, the real estate market's crazy. It's nuts, it's insane. And so today we're gonna bring forth a few numbers to showcase just where things are at to give you a better feel of the market in the Rapid City area. I've created some fantastic slides just for you guys because hey, who doesn't love numbers, right? And okay, whatever. Well, here we go. So let's first look at the average sold price. Single family residential, sticking with Rapid City and the surrounding areas. The average sold price actually went down from January to March, from 257 to 247. Now keep in mind, these sold prices actually reflect 30 to 60, maybe even 90 days previously when everything actually was under contract. So let's look at this year. 2021, January, sold, the average sold price was $295,000. That's up from December 2020, 292,000. But then it just keeps going up. 300,000 in February, 312,000 in March. Historically in Rapid City, we would see prices just they're very flat to very slowly escalate, maybe a couple percentage points year over year. But here this year, just from February to March, we've got a 4% increase in home sold prices in 2021. Now, of course, the reason for this is Economics 101, low supply, high demand. This next chart showcases the listings added as the input date in each month of 2021. Now, these numbers don't reflect the numbers of actives during this during the month, since active is a always moving number, but it showcases how many listings were put on the market in each month. So in January 2021, we had 166. 135 in February went down a little bit, and then fortunately coming back up to 169 in March. Yeah, these numbers, they're yeah, they're super low. And that's what creates the very strong seller's market. Now, since we're talking about a strong seller's market, he says as he segues to his next chart. Let's talk next about the list to sale price percentages. Now this showcases how close the final purchase price got to the actual listing price. And as you can see here, we're starting out in January. Historically, we have been running about 97 to 98% of purchase price to list price. But here we are, 100%. And as you can see from this chart, it ain't going down. 100% in January, 101% in February, in March, I put 101, 102%. There were like three purchases that were under 75% list to sale ratio that I just took out just to kind of get rid of the outliers to give a feel for what the real, the real picture is. Uh, and that came out to about 102%. And I added days on market on this chart just to give you a feel of how fast things are selling. Also in March, there were a number of properties that were sold over 100 days on the market, which is probably one of those deals where finally people got around to buying the properties that have been on the market for a little bit longer because nothing else was available and they needed to buy something. So I said all that in number format to say this, properties are selling very quickly, multiple offers, and of course, over asking price. I was talking to another agent after presenting an offer and asking, well, how many offers did you get? And she mentioned six or 10 or how many it was. And then she said, can you imagine somebody presented an offer with only asking price? So that's where things are at right now. Asking price is the starting price. You go up from there, and see where things go. Now there have been stories across the nation in bigger locations of property selling for fifty to hundred thousand dollars over asking price. While I've heard of a few of those here, I haven't heard that being the norm. Asking for fifteen, twenty, twenty-five thousand over asking price is an unheard of. All right, so where's this all going? Is it going to slow down? Are we going to see things kind of smooth out? Of course, anything could happen. But at this moment, I really don't see things slowing down anytime soon. Demand is still high inventory remains low and when we do get more inventory that's immediately gobbled up and those foreclosures that are in forbearance well they're going to be in forbearance sounds like now till 2022 which means they're probably not going to come to the market until 2023 which would actually be great for the marketplace that would help give us a few more properties for investors to purchase and add then to the either rental market or to the present uh, single family home market so sellers whether you list now or you list a little in a few months probably is gonna make a big difference. Trying to navigate to the exact high point might be a bit of a challenge. Maybe you wait for a bit longer, who knows? But right now, 
certainly a seller's market, you'll certainly get multiple offers for your property, assuming it's not, you know, a piece of junk and foundation issues, et cetera, et cetera. Buyers, I'm sorry to tell you, there, there is no secret sauce to getting your offer accepted. If you see anything like this, run away. Let me tell you what the hot, hot, hot marketplace out here in the Rapid City Real Estate Market. Let me tell you what the best way that you can get that home bought for yourself. Let me tell you the secret sauce. That's right, the secret sauce to getting your offer accepted over everybody else's. There are 25 things you need to do to make sure your offer gets accepted in this marketplace. Contact me today, send a check for $29.95.95.95, and I'll teach you what you need to know. It's a secret. There really is very little secret. The more money is going to win. No contingency is going to win. Cash is going to win. The best thing that you can do is get in the game, present your offer, give them the best offer that you can, and keep moving forward with persistence and patience. I know that's what I say all the time, but it's a true story. You saw the prices. They're continuing to rise. They're not going to go down anytime soon. Waiting a year may not be the best option for you. Now, it depends. Everybody's got a different story. I understand that. And I'm not saying that now is the time for everybody to buy a house. But what I am saying is if you want to buy a property, sitting around waiting for things to hopefully get better may not be the best option. You need to get in the game, put in your offers, do everything you can to present the best offer as possible. We'll work with you 100% of the way to make sure you're protected, but also do everything we can to get that home for you. All right, everybody, there we go. Real estate market numbers for this month. I would have loved to be outside in the park to do this information for you, but you know, it's still a little cold. Looking forward to spring. See you guys later. Remember, love where you live.